Mark Murphy, Boston Herald, Brad. You guys got off to another bad start, um, but this time, were, was it more than just a matter of shots not falling? I mean, were, were you not getting the shots you wanted? No, they, they way outplayed us in every category in that first quarter. That wasn't just about shots by any means. You know, I thought that was um, one team playing at a very elite level and one team not, to be quite candid. So it's, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at it, we'll make the necessary changes, and we'll move forward. Um, but, you know, as I told the team, you know, we can't get off starts like that. The only part of the defensive effort that I was um, upset by was losing Corver a few times and then the transition defense. But other than that, we really guarded. And um, we just put too much pressure on ourselves to make shots later because every one of them mattered so much just to have a chance to get back in the game. Um, you can't start like that. Uh, you know, it just – so, again, we'll look at it, figure out what the right changes are to make and make it. Coach Morgan, in a night tonight, a game here in Atlanta, you mentioned losing Corver. Did any of what he did in game one kind of mislead you guys into no. thinking that – No, not at all. Corver's like – one of the main things we talk about every time we walk in this building, every time we walk into the hotel, every time we land in Atlanta, we know where he's, we know that we have to be in his airspace or else we're toast. And you knew coming off of a one for 10 game, he was going to have, you know, you know, the hunger to, to make shots and take shots early on. So we, we talked about that, but it was just a matter of, we lost him a few times and then our transition D was bad, uh, especially in that first quarter. You know, we had some moments throughout the game where our transition D was bad, but that first quarter it was, you know, they were moving at a, they were moving at one speed that we weren't at. Uh, Steve Balpet, Boston Herald. Um, Brad, you guys have been really resilient all year. I'm guessing this is the last thing you expected, numbers-wise, the way it played out early. You mean? Just you guys have become have come back from these things really well, and tonight not. Yeah, I think that tonight had a different feel than even the other night. You know, like, I thought the other night, it was one of those nights where we, we didn't shoot it great, but we had done some really good things. We had settled ourselves defensively. And then, you know, once we started making some shots, we felt pretty good about our chances. Um, here, it never felt like we were, we were at, the, at their level. You know, and, and um, you know, hey, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure that out. We're gonna have to get to their level and, and uh, play a lot better on Friday night. Brad Gary Washburn, Boston Globe. What's going on with Isaiah and Jay? Is both of them really slow starts? Jay just doesn't look like himself so far in the first two games. Well, you know, I don't know. I, I let those guys answer that, but they're, you know, they're 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 holding themselves to a high standard. It's not, you know, it's it's they're not having tough shooting nights for a lack of focus or effort or anything else. They're just. Um, you know, he struggled a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, they'll have those nights, and, and we've got to have other guys pick them up, you know, regardless of who that is, regardless of who's available. We have to have other guys pick them up. I thought we got some good good play from a couple guys on our bench, and, um, you know, that was encouraging as we move forward. And, again, we've got, we've got some things to look at um, to, to be able to play better, I think. Coach Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com. What did you take away from the way they defended you in the first game without Olenek and Bradley? Uh, this is a, I mean, they're doing what they do. They fly around. Um, they are very physical on your cuts. They went under a lot of things, uh, made us make shots, you know, and, and jammed the paint on our drives and protected the rim like, um, they've done in this whole stretch where they've been the best defense in the league. And secondly, uh, Amir Johnson tonight, uh, just your comments on what he brought to you guys tonight. Yeah, I mean, I thought when he went back in in, in the second quarter and then in the third quarter, he was, you know, you know, really, really, really good.